Designing a switch mode power supply that works well is not easy. Designs must be thoroughly vetted before they are committed to production, but that takes valuable time. Online tools such as Maxim's EESIM DC to DC design tool can save drastic amounts of time and are highly recommended, but they have a few limitations. For one thing, there are constraints on how large of a load step or line step can be simulated. Also, additional components or probes cannot be inserted into the schematic. Fortunately, there is a fast new tool called the EESIM OASIS Simulator, which gives engineers additional degrees of freedom to evaluate their circuit designs. For example, suppose you wanted to simulate your circuit in an overcurrent situation. While the online tool reminds you that the circuit was not designed for such a high load, the OASIS simulator allows this analysis. Additional probes and additional components can also be placed on the schematic to get a better picture of your circuit's performance. Let's take a look at how quick and easy it is to use the OASIS simulator. There are two ways to get started. One begins in the online EESIM DC to DC design tool. After creating a customized schematic, go to the download tab. Here you can download the simulator, if you haven't already, as well as ready-to-go schematics from your design. Instead of starting in the online DC to DC design tool, you can also select from over 150 reference schematics available in the OASIS simulator. These schematics cover a broad variety of topologies, configurations, applications, and products. Simply click Run to simulate the selected design. Notice how quickly the simulation completes. The EESIM OASIS simulator is built on the simplest simulation engine, which is at least 10 times faster than SPICE for switch mode power supplies. Suppose you need to know how the MAX 16903 will perform when it's stressed with a high current load. An excellent way to evaluate this condition is using the OASIS simulator's multi-step feature. Start by double-clicking on the load to input a set of current values. Use curly brackets to create a parameter name for the current values and press OK. Next, go to the simulator menu and set up values for the current steps parameter. Note you do not have to use curly brackets in the setup menu. Since this part is rated for 1 amp, using a series of higher values should expose its behavior in an overcurrent situation. Click Run Multi-Step to start the simulations. Do not click Run Simulations since this circuit is now set up for multi-step analysis. By default, the simulation waveforms appear as separate tabs, although they can also be shown as tiles or in a separate browser window. After stacking the graphs, we see that the power supply recovers from the 2 amp load step, but the 3 amp load step triggers the device's overcurrent protection. Another freedom offered by the OASIS simulator is the ability to add components or probes to the schematic. For example, suppose this circuit is subject to large load steps and an electrolytic capacitor is desired. Simply go to the Place menu and select the desired capacitor type. Then click to place it on the schematic. Notice that the cursor changes to a wiring tool when placed over the capacitor's pin, which simplifies connecting it to the schematic. To explore the power of EESIM OASIS Simulator for yourself, visit www.maximintegrated.com oasis.